Christian Hope Ministry. Welcome to Hour of Hope. Through the joy of Christ's message, we aim to be a force for positive change in the lives of God's children. Our aim is to make mainstream Christian worship accessible, joyful, and welcoming to newcomers both inside and outside church. Get ready to be impacted with your host, Rev. Dr. Richard Achempong Godwin. Child of God, it's always a blessing to preach the Word of God to you. Thank you for tuning in today. It is my prayer that God use the Word to bless your life. Today, I want to speak to you about something that I have seen happening to a lot of people. And I don't want you to be a victim. So I want to bring the word to your healing so that you will take it and you will pray with it. Hallelujah. And what I want to talk about is that I have seen so many people that they work very hard in their lifetime. But when they get to a certain age, whereby probably they are going on pension, whereby so probably uh, they want to re retire and enjoy uh, what God has blessed them. Then something strange happened to them. Some of them may lose their life. Some of them, uh, their reward. And so many bad things happen. And that is what I want to talk to you about. In the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 6, verse 1, the, the writer says that there is an evil which I have seen under the sun, and it is common among men. A man to whom God has given riches and wealth and honor so that he lacks nothing for himself or he desires, yet God does not give him power to eat of it but a foreigner consume it. This is vanity and it is an evil affliction. So here the word of God makes it really plain that if someone works really hard, if somebody works really hard all the days of his life and if he doesn't enjoy it, but rather a foreigner comes and enjoy it, the Bible calls that an evil affliction. Yet, this is what I see a lot of people go through in life. A lot of people work fairly hard. But when it comes to a time for them enjoying, something strange happens. Praise God. I know a lady, and uh, she works really hard. She, she bought a house, and uh, she rented the house. And then... Strangely enough, you know, uh, uh, one of the tenants took her to court because something was, was not right in the house. And rather than, you know, kind of uh, the judge asking him to go and repair, the judge rather, you know, issued a, 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 a financial settlement against the landlady. And it was a huge amount, 30,000 pounds. And the lady, you know, was around about 65 or so. And thinking about eventually, uh, she, she caught a stroke and died. Praise God. And so many strange things happens to a lot of people. I know a, a, a man too that, you know, in his life was building a, a house back home. And at the age of about 65, really near to, to his pension decided that he would go home and see if the work was done. In fact, when he went, the house has been built, everything was going great, and he decided that he was coming to take his pension money and then go and settle back home. But on reaching one of the cities, uh, then he fell sick, and strangely enough, he died. So, so many people go through that. They work very hard in their lifetime, praise God. 
And when it comes to the time of them enjoying, then they lose out. I see this happening uh, sometimes even in marriage. I see great couples working together, saving, uh, building their future. But at a certain point in time, when they are very close to old age, you will see that something will happen and then they divorce. Now, when things happen like that, you know, the Bible is saying that this is an evil affliction. In other words, this is not God's will. This is not God's plan for you and I. God's will and God's plan is that when you and I work hard, we will enjoy the things that God has blessed us with. Praise God. In the same text, in, the, in Ecclesiastes chapter 5, verse 18, he says, Here is what I have seen. It is good and fitting for one to eat and drink and in to enjoy the good of his labor. Did you hear that? God said that it is good to enjoy the good of your labor. So I want you to know that it is not God's plan that uh, we will lose out. You see, people die sometimes on timely death. Some people sometimes, they have an accident and then uh, they don't enjoy what they have. Praise God. But today I want to pray with you and so that whatever, praise God, you will not be a victim, but you will be part of God's plan for your life and that you will enjoy what God gives you on planet Earth. Because remember, it is God's plan that as you work hard, you will enjoy. In the book of Genesis, chapter 3, when man even fell, when God came in, what God said to man is that you will toil before you eat. God did not say that you will toil and you will not eat. Praise God. That is also why when Jesus, our Lord, when he saw uh, a Simon, Praise God. Peter, hallelujah. When he saw Peter tolling and have nothing, no catch, then he performed a miracle. Why? Because it is God's plan that when we work hard, we will enjoy. Praise God. And it is my prayer for you today that as you are working hard, as you are struggling, you will not die prematurely. Neither would you lose out. Praise God. But you will sit back and you will enjoy every toll and everything that you have worked for. That is your portion, and that is what I will for you, and that is what God also will for you. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen. Now, when we read the Bible, we will find that, that in fact, in Scripture, it is God's plan that we live to be 120, and that is the, mark, the minimum, that is the minimum, the minimum age that God has for you and I is 120. But today we know that that is not what is happening. A lot of people at the age of 65, age 60, praise God, age 70, then they pass out. But I pray for you today that from this day forward, God will be with you and that whatever you work for, you will enjoy. Some people too, sometimes uh, when they have labored, Instead of them to enjoy a, a, a snake, you know, a, a, a sickness, strange sickness, strange sickness will, 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 will hit them. And so they don't have the ability to enjoy. Um, back home, I know a man that worked very hard on his own plantation. Hallelujah. But every year when it's time for harvest, that is the time that... You know, at harvest time, strange sickness will hit him. And before he realized, praise God, he will be taken to, you know, uh, native doctor upon native doctor. Native, and before he, 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 he get well, all the money would have been scandal. But I pray that that will not be your portion. May God be with you and may God deliver you from anything of that sort in the name of Jesus Christ. Now, strangely enough, you know, it is sinners that the Bible talks about the fact that 
because they don't serve God, you know, they will not enjoy the fruit of their labor. But if you are a child of God, God will and God plan for you is that you will enjoy the fruit of your labor. In the book of Zephaniah, chapter 1, verse 13, the Bible says that, I'm talking about sinners here. It says that they shall build houses, but not inhabit them. They shall plant vineyards, but not enjoy their wine. Why? Because God's judgment is against sinners. But if you're a child of God, God will and God's plan for you is that when you work hard, praise God, you will enjoy, you will enjoy what God has destined for you. Now, and so if you look back, how comes a lot of people work hard and they don't enjoy? There's so many things, so many. Sometimes it could be the fact that, you know, I have their, their family line, their family line, or even their personal life, they are cursed. Whenever a person does not enjoy what they have worked hard for, praise God, it, it, it is part of a curse. And I pray that even if there is a curse in your life, there is an antidote. And the antidote is the finished work of Christ when Jesus died on the cross for you. Hallelujah. The Bible says that Curse is everyone that died on the tree. And as you and I know that Jesus died on the tree, he has taken our curse away. Hallelujah. If there's a curse in your family line, even if you yourself, somebody have cursed you, may that be broken today in the name of Jesus Christ. May that be removed from your life in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Now, some people, too, the reason why they don't enjoy the fruit of their labor is that there are witchcraft. Perhaps they are believers, but they are not strong believers. So uh, uh, people are, are using witchcraft against them. Praise God. Or witchcraft power is working against their lives. And for that matter, you know, their lives get terminated. But I pray for you today that in the name of Jesus Christ, the power of God will rest upon your life today, that no weapon formed against you shall prosper. Now, that is also to say that when you are a believer, don't take your Christianity for granted. Hallelujah. There are so many people in churches today that are not really serious. Their life is worldly. I want to advise you that if you are a believer, do well, do well, do extremely well. Hallelujah. To equip yourself in the power of God. Praise God. So that no weapon formed against you shall prosper. Don't live your life anyhow. Don't rely on the fact that you are just righteous. Righteousness alone is not good enough. But you and I need the power to be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. When you read the Bible in the, in the book of 1 Kings, Chapter 21, there is a man called Nebat or Neboth. This man was a righteous person. But if you look at it and you study the Bible, you will find out that it was Jezebel arranged for her life, for his life to be terminated. Jezebel arranged for his life to be terminated. That is why if you are a believer, you don't take your, your Christianity for, for granted. But be active in the things of God. Be prayerful. Hallelujah. Read your word so that you will be strong in the power of his might. Praise God. There are certain times that we quote the scriptures. Now, no weapon formed against us. Yet, when weapons are formed, it, 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 it comes against us. The reason is that a lot of people have the, the name Christianity on them by name. Christianity is on them by name. Time has come for you and I to be active in the power of God. Hallelujah. Now, there are a lot of people too. The reason why the enemy is able to take them off, hallelujah, is because of uh, where they are coming from. Some people, you know, 
before they became Christians. They have got themselves involved. Through the joy of Christ's message, we aim to be a force for positive change in the lives of God's children. Our aim is to make mainstream Christian worship accessible, joyful, and welcoming to newcomers both inside and outside church. Get ready to be impacted with your host, Rev. Dr. Richard Achempong Godwin. People, you know, before they became Christians, they have got themselves involved in some, uh, you know, demonic practices and they haven't actually get themselves delivered. So that point of contact is operating through their lives and uh, they need to be, to be delivered so that they can actively have the power of God over their life. But today I pray for you that God would be, be merciful to you and God will touch you and God will deliver you fully and so that you will be strong in the power of God and, and you walk in the active power of God in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Uh, I, I was shocked to know as I pray for a lot of people, some people, you know, sometimes when they were even traveling here, they got themselves, you know, they went to native doctors and some of them have given them incision in their body. Some of them have given them uh, some concussions to drink and some of them have been bathed in some so many ritualistic things. And that thing works against them because anything that the devil will give you, you will pay back in another way. Hallelujah. But may God deliver you in the name of Jesus Christ. And may God set you free so that the power of God will be there for you and that whatever you do and you work for, you will enjoy it in the name of Jesus Christ. Now the Bible says in the book of Isaiah, Isaiah chapter 62, it says from verse number eight, that the Lord has swore by his right hand and by the arm of his strength that surely I will no longer give you a grain as food for your enemies. And the son of the foreigner shall not drink your new wine for which you have labored, but those who have gathered it shall eat and they shall praise the Lord. Those who have brought it together shall drink it in my holy cause. I claim that portion for you in the name of Jesus because God wants you to live long and enjoy the fruit of your labor. That is why when you read the scriptures concerning King Hezekiah, there came a time that God sent Isaiah the prophet to Hezekiah to inform him that he should get his house in order because time have come for him to die. But Hezekiah looking at the life that he has served God, the things that he has acquired, and that this is the time for him to sit down and enjoy a little. So he pleaded with God and said, Lord, I am not ready to go. Hallelujah. Let, let, me, let me live and enjoy a little bit. Hallelujah. And thanks be to God that God heard him and God change the equation for him and he lived extra 15 years it is my prayer for you that you will live long to enjoy what god have for you now always remember that the bible says that jesus came so that you may have life and have it abundant so god want to give you abundant life it is the enemy that comes to kill to steal and to destroy hallelujah praise god but even so God have power over the enemy. And I pray that God will exert his power over the enemy to cause you to live long in the name of Jesus Christ. The Bible says in the book of Daniel chapter 2, verse 22, 
that he is a God that changes seasons and changes times. I pray that every negative season and time in your life, may he change it and cause you to live long, to enjoy, hallelujah, to enjoy what you have labored for in the name of Jesus Christ. Praise God. For he is a good God. He is a good God. And may his goodness be your portion in Jesus Christ's name. Praise Jesus. The Bible says in the book of Isaiah, chapter 3, verse 10, that say to the righteous that it shall be well with them, and they shall eat the fruit of their labor. You see that? That is God's plan and portion for you. He said that we should say to the righteous that they will eat, they shall eat, they shall eat the fruit of their labor. So you as a righteous person, it is not God will for you to lose your job prematurely, for you to be divorced, uh, for you to go through sickness and pain, uh, for you to die prematurely, or, or even for you to be sacked so that you don't enjoy what you have labored for. There are some people, they labor very hard. They work very hard in their respective company. But when the time comes for promotion and prominence, that is the time when they, they will do something you know, wrong and they will be sacked. Hallelujah. I pray that that is not your portion. But as you work hard, you will be acknowledged. You will be promoted. You will increase. The Bible says that as God's children, we will expand on every side. We will expand to your right and you will expand to your left. May expansion come to you in the name of Jesus. And may you enjoy everything that you have in this life in the name of Jesus Christ. Now, I'm going to read a scripture to you. Now, I'm giving you a lot of scriptures so that when you come to prayer, you will have something to, to stand on and to pray. In the book of Psalm 128, God has something for you and your family. He said that blessed is everyone who fear the Lord, who walk in his ways, in other words, if you, work, if you walk in God's ways, blessed are you. And then he said, when you eat, when you eat the labor of your hand, you shall be happy and it shall be well with you. Hallelujah. And then God says, your wife shall be like a fruitful vine in the very heart of your house. Your children like an olive plant all around your table. Behold, thou shalt the man be blessed who fear the Lord. So those of us who fear the Lord, the scripture says that as we fear him, hallelujah, we, 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 we will enjoy the fruit of our labor. So premature death is not your portion. Working very hard, and not enjoying it. It's not your portion. Praise God. But thanks God that he said in, in the book of Isaiah that those who gather shall eat and they shall praise the name of the Lord. Those who have brought it together shall drink it in my holy court. So that means you will not die prematurely. That means you will enjoy the fruit of your labor. That means the enemy cannot take you off. Hallelujah. I pray for you as I'm ending my message. I, I entreat you to call the number on the screen. I entreat you to, to call for prayer if you need prayer. Hallelujah. But I pray for you today in the name of Jesus Christ that whatever torment that you are going through, if your family line, people die prematurely and they don't enjoy the fruit of their labor, call. Uh, if you yourself, you have dreams and you see people who have died and uh, years ago, or if you experience yourself that, that you are dead, call, because it is an indication that the enemy is after your life. Praise God. Call, and then I will pray for you. Or if you are going through anything at all, don't hesitate. 
contact here. The number is on the screen in the name of Jesus. But I pray for you now. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for all our listeners that your mercy will be their portion in the name of Jesus. Whatever the enemy may have programmed against their life, that will have caused them to lose their life. That will have caused them not to enjoy the fruit of their labor. Father, I cancel it in the name of Jesus Christ. Any evil affliction will not be part of their life. I break the power of evil affliction in Jesus' name. I made mention of curse in my, in my speech. Whoever is experiencing curse in his life, by the finished work of Christ, I command the curse to be broken in the name of Jesus Christ. Whatever is working against your children, I command deliverance in Jesus' name. I release them and I set them free in the name of Jesus Christ. May divine protection be your portion. I soak you and your family uh, in the blood of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. May you live long. May you be blessed. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Christian Hope Ministry. Welcome to Hour of Hope. Through the joy of Christ's message, we aim to be a force for positive change in the lives of God's children. Our aim is to make mainstream Christian worship accessible, joyful, and welcoming to newcomers both inside and outside church. Get ready to be impacted with your host, Reverend Dr. Richard Achempong Godwin.